of their mind. Change with anybody in my weight class. I know I hit hard. I know then I have a good chin. Silva trying to finish it here. Another. I truly believe that I have the perfect style to beat him. He's going to stay on his feet and try to. I'll be, I'll be ready for the fight for war. It's mistakes. That's my time now. I truly believe that. I'm going there. I'm going to win. After that. But he has a vicious knockout. The only problem is that Anderson Silva is not most people. Cote has doubled his strike. Joe Silva, Dana White, the brass said, you know what? He continues to bring it both to Mark Delagrati, Fabio Holanda. You know, it's his time, he said. Who fought against his idol in his UFC debut. He used to have Tito Ortiz. What's really exciting about this fight, Mike, is his belief in himself. This man... Smile on the face of Patrick Cote, singing along and ready to gain training in judo, has now moved to his Muay Thai. Here he is tonight with the greatest opportunity of his fighting career. Once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Moving ground for fighters, where tonight only one will hang. And sectioned by the Illinois State Athlete, Saul DeMato and Tony Weeks. And when the action begins, is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's T Middleweight Championship of the Fighter. Holding a professional record of 14 wins with four losses. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Pat K. With four losses, he stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in a reigning, defending UFC. Honor the rules in your dressing rooms. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my... What a great show of class and respect by both fighters. Scheduled... Good. For the champion. Anderson likes to move, figure out his distance, and then he attacks. Catch his leg and knock him out. And don't think Cote doesn't know that. Yeah, absolutely. And when he explodes, he's going to explode. Ote also knows Joey can't 
he can't get careless. He can't get over anxious here. Watch his leg. And the reason why he's saying that is the way Anderson's positioning his weight. Inside leg kick. Checked nicely by Cote. So elusive too, Joe. I mean, his defense is out. Hey, kick. Man, Watch out for the clinch. Nasty. Hey, yeah. Very hard with these leg kicks. 70% in his career. Movement is it's ridiculous. so smooth yeah. on his feet. His footwork does have one strike knockout power. Anderson really waiting to get things started here. Well, just caught him with a big kick. Smile on the face of Cote. Cote loves for hand right. And it's not the one you all, I mean, he's ready to go. He's cut already. I mean, Silva's so good. He hangs the hands. He's not working. Your tongue so greatly improved. And he has to attack, and he has to commit. And for him to performance against Chris Lieben was so devastating is because Chris is so aggressive. And, and get overly anxious and leave himself exposed to the counter. In stances. I don't think he... Cote has only taken two men down in his UFC career. Look at this kick. Boom. On the chin. There, Patrick Cote has a phenomenal chin. You've got to be unpredictable. Don't let him get set up. Nothing's happening. He's thinking about how to hit you. Don't let him think and set up hard. A little bit of water. You're doing great, brother. You're doing great. And that right wants, him wants him to think differently. He wants him to think unpredictably. The fight was announced. And I said to Mark Delagrande, he said, can he do it? He's like, win or lose, it's the greatest night in his life to be able to f keep him busy. Silva's starting to dance a little bit more. He's moving. I know Anderson Silva. Vicious combination. Wow, there. what a swing. Behind that of Anderson Silva's, though. Absolutely. And I'd be... They're bodied up there in the clinch game. But he truly loves the art of Muay Thai. Look at that. Beautiful movement, Joe, and again with that kick. My friend Brian always describes him like he's in the spot around. Cote to ground and pound, posture up. And will he look to get right back to his feet? To as much as possible. Trying to keep him from raining down strikes. Good elbow from the Trying bottom right to the arm bar. Look at him, he's giving him his hand. And he was serious still. That wasn't a trick. Twisted his ankle there, Joe. I love about the fact that Cote is so tough is that this fight is going to go a while. Um, being the first man to take Anderson Silva to the third round. And it Did you see him shake that leg out again, Joe? Championship fight, five five minute rounds. Just trying to give something for Patrick Cote to think about. He said when he seems to be passive, it means he's setting himself up to become active. Right kick is coming, Mike. There it is. Good call, Joe. Silva, who caught the kick of James Urban and Holanda and Delagrati. You win this round with a takedown. Wow, did you see him bring the elbow up? Yeah, that's how he tore apart Rich Franklin. Here it is again, just leans in, the long reach of Anders Fricklin in cage rage. One of the most incredible elbows I've ever seen. I told him, reach out and grab it. You can beat him, lock it down. Forget the knee, lock it down. I'm motivated. You should do some seminars. There you go. Third round. Well, he... Has he won either round, though, Joe? No, but you know what? He's made... Mark. Got a little cut on his forehead, but he's... Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. oh, he blew his ACL. Unbelievable. Oh, man. Joe, remember I mentioned... How unfortunate. Let's look at it. Look, you cannot question oh. the heart of Patrick Cote. Guaranteed something horrible. See the bone pop to the side, and it's... Mostly how it pops out to the side. It's just a freak incident. Look at his... He's talking to someone. I've had two blown ACLs. I've, both my knees have been... Thought Andre Olaski moved funny, and it just popped, blew out. And 
That's a freak. It's an accident. That young man, unfortunate situation. Here's Bruce Buffer. Seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by TKO Anderson, the Spire. Yes, his arm was raised by Herb Dean. Anderson Silva's not celebrating. Wow. All right, I'm a very entertaining fight. G give us your thoughts on. I mean, eu queria pedir desculpa a todos vocês que estão aqui presentes hoje. Peso para estar aqui é muito difícil. A gente tá cheio de lesão, tá cheio de nosso trabalho para dar o espetáculo para vocês. Infelizmente, ele tá lesionado. Ocasião, obrigado. He says he wants to apologize to everyone in the state. They fight being hurt, and uh, you know, Patrick should not be booed. Uh, I'll be back here again to put on another show for everybody. Well, it was about how the fight was going down, and Patrick Cote as as an opponent. Ah, uh, Patrick é um grande lutador, tem provado isso, e a luta aqui porque vocês que fazem a gente trazer esse espetáculo. Patrick is a great athlete. I mean, the fight was, I, I came one fight, but unfortunately he got hurt, but we'll be back again. Obrigado, e a gente quer ver você aqui outra vez. Thank you. Wow, Patrick Cote deserves all kinds of... Is this a, a pre-existing injury? No, uh, it was an old injury. I'm sorry. We went with Anderson Silva in the third round of the UFC, so I think I just pop out. I'm so sorry, guys. If you look up at the screen, you can see what... There. Pop. See, you can't see, you can't see any pop through. No, I can't see my knee right now. Look at that. We look forward to seeing you healed up and back in the octagon again. Thank you, Leo Seeger. Thank For you. Sure. Patrick Cote.